Hey, welcome back to the car application. In the first video, we created a car uh, object, a class. Now we're going to actually make some instances of that and show you how you can print them to the screen. All right, so in order to uh, make this car come to life, we're going to have to have some kind of an application that has interaction. So in the first case, we're going to make a console app. So let's go up to the solution area and right click on the word solution, choose add a new project. And now I'm going to choose console app for the type of project that we're going to build. So instead of console app one, let's delete that and name it as car shop console uh, app. How about and click OK. All right, so now we have a console app going on here and we have a file called program. You notice program is a class and it has a very special method in it called main. So this is where the actual application can start to work. So what I'd really like to do is type the word car and then uh, give it a name as like C equals a new car. So that's what I'd like to do. However, you can see that it says uh, you don't have any objects around here called car. Well, I have an object up here called car. But they're in separate projects here. I mean separate, uh, literally, projects. So we have two different guys here and I want to add a link between them. All right, so let's see what some of the potential fixes are. So I hover over the word car, and down here it says show some potential fixes. So we could have a uh, reference here, it's called. So the other options are not the suggestions that we need. It says we need to either generate a new car class, or what I really need to do is actually just add a reference to the class library that's already been created. So I'll click here. All right, so what did that do? Up here at the top, it says using class library. That's a new line. And then all of a sudden, the word car becomes, uh, makes sense. So now we have a new car called C. So to do a, a console out, I'm going to type in CW. And you can see that that is a code snippet. So let's press tab twice, and I have console write line. So what do I want to write? Let's say car C is as follows. And I'm going to take uh, C dot. And let's see, I have properties that I could print. I could do c.make plus, and let's put in a space, and then c.m uh, is model, and then another one called, let's see, what is this, c.price. Uh, okay, and so that I want to see the uh, message on the screen, I'm gonna do a console and then a read line. So a read line will pause and wait for me to close the program. So. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to run this. It says here, car class library. This isn't going to work. If I try to run this, it says car class library doesn't have a main program in it. So my project is not set up to actually execute. So I, I messed that up. So let's go right click and choose properties under the solution. And let's see if we can do a startup project here. Let's see, we can change this to console app. There it is, and click OK. All right, so now up here, I have a start menu. Let's see what that does. So what I'm expecting is that we would have a application run, launch. Uh oh, I have an application error. What did I do wrong? It says here, I forgot a plus sign. Let's try that again. Okay, so let's start it up. And we've got ourselves, hopefully, a new car. It says the car as follows, nothing yet, nothing yet, and zero. So it did create a new instance. If I press enter, it'll close. Created a new instance of a car. Let's make another car. Let's call it car, I don't know, D. And he's going to be a new car. But this time, I'm going to say this is a Ford. And I'm going to put in the word Mustang. And his price. Let's name the price. The price is going to be $9,200. Okay, so now I have a, a C and a D. And let's make the next car run. So let's uh, do a copy and paste on the current line. And car D... We'll change all the C's to a D, and we'll print the, uh, the new values. Okay, so you can see that the two different constructors were at work here. The first one created a, a generic car that says nothing yet is the strings. And the second one shows a car that has a Ford Mustang as its properties and its price. Okay, so this is a good place to stop. 
What we've done so far is we've created a solution that has a class library with a car in it, and then we've created the console app that can actually create instances of the car. And as you can see, we're just printing out the properties right now. So in the next video, we're going to create a little more elaborate class. It's called a store class, which will be able to hold a list of cars. And then we'll be able to add and remove items from the store.